Hey, it's your friend Choice CJ here, and I am coming to you today with my Week 8 preparation video for the Orange League. I am, of course, the coach of the Nevada Neuverns, and this week we are going to be taking on the New York Meadows, coached by RG the Awesome. He's got a pretty good team that has a lot of really big threats on it, such as Azumarill and uh, Mega Sableye. Some other really good physical attackers like Salamence and Metagross and Landorus. Really annoying Pokemon and Shuckle, and really scary setup sweeper with Volcarona. So, when I look at this team, what I really identify right off the bat is he has a pretty tremendous amount of bulk. Not necessarily a lot of speed. He's got two base 100 Pokemon with Salamence and Volcarona. But other than that, he doesn't have a lot of speed, but his bulk is really fearsome. So, against a team like this, it would be, would be really nice to bring some really great wall-breaking options. But, unfortunately, our team is just a little bit lacking in the wall breaking department. We have Mega Blastoise, which has a pretty nice attack stat, or special attack stat rather, but not a lot else on our team can deliver big hits. So we had to come up with another strategy for taking on what is most likely going to be a very bulky team. So what I was able to come up with is Paraflinch. <laughs> I know that I'm not really inventing the wheel, uh, or reinventing the wheel here, with this, but I'm hoping I can use Wayne and Garth, you know, the two Wayne's brothers, or uh, guys from Wayne's World, and uh, do some good work to his team. So we are going to be bringing a specially defensive Togekiss with Air Slash, Roost, Nasty Plot, and Thunder Wave. Um, it's specially defensive to take on Volcarona. I'm going to have to be pretty careful with Togekiss if he does bring Volcarona, because uh, that thing could straight up sweep us if we're not careful, but we can potentially, if we need to sack something off to prevent a Volcarona sweep, we will, and then we'll bring in Togekiss. Togekiss can live a plus one Fire Blast, go for Thunder Wave, and then, honestly, I think I'll roost up until I get back to, to full health, and then just paraflinch him down to, to zero. Uh, this would also be good against some other Pokemon, like Salamence. It can do the same thing against Salamence. Uh, it can't really hit us with its Dragon Stab, it can't hit us with Earthquake. Uh, it has some other coverage moves potentially, but I don't think it gets any Poison coverage. The one move I will have to be aware of is Iron Tail. Um, we'll have to do a little bit of calculations during the game to see if we can live an Iron Tail from Salamence, especially if it's set up at all. Uh, I do know that RG loves to bring Dragon Dance Salamence. So we'll see about that. I have other checks to Salamence. I don't really need to bring in Togekiss. But yeah, that's the main thing that I'm going to be going for here. Uh, I also have Nasty Plot in case I find an opportunity to set up with that. I was really thinking about running something like Substitute instead. Uh, because Substitute plus Paraflinch just seems like a horribly broken combo. But I thought Nasty Plot would be nice just because my team this week isn't super offensive. So if I have an opportunity to get to plus two that Air Slash could do do a little bit better damage. Um, I did mention I have a specially defensive EV spread this week, uh, but I do have a little bit, a tiny bit of speed in there. This is just to outspeed a adamant max speed Azumarill if he chooses to bring something like that. If he brings Jolly, then I guess I'm kind of in trouble, but I didn't want to sacrifice any additional bulk on Togekiss if I could help it. I really need every EV that I can get. So similarly, we're bringing... Uh, Garth the Jirachi this week with Stealth Rock, Body Slam, Iron Head, and Toxic. Stealth Rock obviously there to hit things like Volcarona and to do chip damage to Mega Sableye if possible. Body Slam's for the Paralysis, Iron Head is for the Flinch. So we can also Paraflinch things down with this Jirachi. And I know it's not the most highly looked upon strategy, but we are in this league to win games. So we are going to do whatever it takes to win games. Also packing Toxic on this Mon in case we need to poison something like uh, Shuckle or uh, Dusclops or something like that. Just figured it'd be a good general move. It'd probably be nice for something like Blastoise as well. I was tempted to bring something like uh, Fire Punch as coverage for... Uh, Metagross, and I guess it'll do a little bit more to Victini than Iron Head would, but probably not a lot more. Actually, no, it, Iron Head is... Iron Dead is like 
20 or 25 percent less than fire punch but uh if we can just para flinch things down the damage isn't necessarily that important especially if we already uh if we if we decide to toxic something instead of body slam something and or maybe we go for uh, a will-o-wisp with james and we get a burn on it we can just flinch him down with a 60 percent chance to flinch and every time he flinches, he takes more residual damage. And that residual damage is going to be more useful in the long run, uh, in my opinion. So, we did put enough speed in this thing to outspeed Jolly Metagross, put the rest into, uh, or put a lot into attack to get it maxed, and then put 144 HP EVs in, just because that's what was left over. We're going with Shookaberry. I was really thinking about leftovers, of course. That's probably the most common item you'd see on a set like this just to give it more longevity but the sugar berry i think it's going to be really useful if i'm going up against something like salamence or metagross their main coverage option against me is going to be earthquake so they can go for that i'll it'll get reduced by half it's not stab so it's not extremely potent if they're not set up and then i can retaliate with a body slam or maybe a toxic or something not against metagross obviously but we'll do some damage in that way and then begin the para-flinching process. So that's my plan with Jirachi. Really hoping that it can team up with Wayne and uh, do a lot of damage this week. Did mention that Leonardo is my main offensive mon. Uh, so against a team like RG's with a lot of bulk, this is going to be really, really good. Um, going with Ice Beam, Aura Sphere, Dark Pulse, and Rapid Spin. Really wish I could have packed the water coverage. But just compared to, to everything else, I thought that these three moves hit better, and I desperately need Rapid Spin. If he does bring Shuckle, and he's able to get up Sticky Web somehow, I need to find a way to remove it. It's just, that's just all there is to it. Um, so, we are doing that, and I put a lot of speed into this, a lot more than you see in most Blastoise. Uh, but this is also going to outspeed Jolly Metagross if he brings that... It's going to outspeed x Bloud unless he's Choice Scarfed, and it's going to do a ton of damage with Aura Sphere. So, if I can get this in uh, relatively for free against something, maybe make a good double against uh, one of his Pokemon, bring this in, I can set up for a big hit on just about anything. So, if I can weaken up his core, I don't have to kill everything on his team with his Blastoise, but if I can use it to weaken up his core, I'll be pretty pleased. My next Pokemon is Sonic, Rocky Helmet Shaman with Seed Flare, Earth Power, Hand Power, Ice, and Rest. This will be my main Azumarill answer, and I do anticipate that it's going to be a decent check to things like Metagross and Salamence as well. It's not going to be great, but I think it'll do good, uh, just because they can do some damage to me, but then they'll take Recoil with Rocky Helmet, and as long as they're still hitting me with, uh, with contacting moves, I can just rest and then they'll have to hit me two or three more times in order to kill me. And if, you know, if I switch out and cure my rest, you know, then I'm perfect. But the, uh, the Sea Flare is there to Oko Azumarill. It uh, Oko's non-Assault Vest variants of Azumarill. Earth Power is for Metagross, Hidden Power Ice is for Salamence. And Seed Flare is really just going to hit everything on his team really hard. Uh, it might even do some decent damage to Volcarona, but I might be overestimating here, especially if it's, I don't have any investment. Uh, but Earth Power is a good alternative if I want to go for that. It's neutrally. This is not really going to be a situation where I stay in with Shaman against Volcarona. But yeah, this will be the good answer for that, uh, Azumarill. And also, you know, if I bring this in on something like Exploud or... Uh, even Lopunny, I'm not even really scared of Lopunny. Bringing it against Duskull, uh, sorry, Dusclops. <laughs> he doesn't have a Duskull, that would be uh, too overpowered. Uh, I can go for a Seed Flare, and you have that really high chance to get the Spideff drop by two stages. And if I can do that, that might be a really great way to break through his team. He's either going to have to switch and then take another Seed Flare, or he's going to have to sack something off, because he doesn't want anything else to get its Spideff dropped. So, we're, we'll be relying on Shaman a lot this week, not only to bar, you know, to, to hold off the physical attackers, but also to hopefully weaken his team. Gonna be bringing James this week with a Pyapa Berry. 
we're going to be using Thunderbolt, Pain Split, Will-O-Wisp, and Taunt. Thunderbolt, it was kind of a tough decision on what kind of, a, kind of attacking move I was going to use on this, but I wanted something that could hit Salamence and Azumarill and Metagross uh, relatively well. I was packing uh, the Sludge Bomb and Dark Pulse coverage, because Sludge Bomb hits Azumarill for super effective damage and its stab. It hits Salamence neutrally, but it doesn't do anything to Metagross, so the Dark Pulse was there for the Metagross, and also probably, you know, uh, Dusclops and stuff like that. But I really wanted to make room on this set for Taunt, because if he brings something like Shuckle, we need to get a Taunt off if possible. He could certainly be packing Mental Herb, but it's just a risk that we're going to have to take. I've seen him mostly pack Leftovers and stuff like that. He could even be packing something crazy like Custap Berry, but I thought Taunt was going to be really useful. We do have a lot of speed EVs in this Weezing. It's also to outspeed an adamant uh, Zoomeril. All, all variants. If he goes Jolly, then we're kind of out of luck, but just I couldn't take any more EVs out of HP or defense. I wasn't willing to do that. So if we can go for Taunt on something like Shuckle or Zoomeril, we can go for will o -Wisp the next turn and, uh, you know, Particularly in, in the case of Shuckle, you know, he's probably going to switch out the Shuckle, and then I can will with whatever's coming in. Hopefully something like uh, Metagross or Salamence trying to hit me with a super effective uh, psychic move. But that's what the Pyapa Berry is for, just to reduce the damage from a potential Zen Headbutt. Get a Will-O-Wisp off, and then we should be able to kind of pain split our way back to good health against certain Pokemon. So that's going to be good. Really looking forward to that. Last Pokemon is going to be a Calm Mind Rest Talk Professor X. Uh, this, <laughs> if I get the opportunity to bring this in for free, and something you know, Pokemon like Sableye. Oh, sorry about that noise, guys. Um, something like Sableye is out of the way, then this thing I think is gonna is gonna put in a lot of work. I've seen RG struggle with overcoming bulk on opposing teams. For example, in his match against J-Spex, uh, he could not beat Suicune. Suicune 6 would his entire team. So we're hoping we could catch a little bit of that lightning in a bottle and do a similar sweep with our Uxie, because this thing has bulk that rivals Suicune, uh, and he doesn't have, other than Sableye, a really good super effective stab option. Uh, Volcarona, of course, can 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 kill Uxie pretty easily, but we're not going to leave this in on a Volcarona. Uh, we're going to try and weaken that up first. And, you know, if we can if we can get up one or two Calm Binds and the Volcarona's in the back and we have Stealth Rock up, then we'll be able to tank a Bug Buzz, um, you know, barring a crit, and we'll be able to kill it back with Psychic. At least that's my plan. So, this is going to be a tough match. I, I know it is, but I think this, if we can get a little bit of luck with Wayne and Garth, and we can up the team, get some status on the team with James, poke some holes with Leonardo, and clean up with Professor X, I think we're going to be pretty great. You know, it's a really tough decision to, to leave some of these Pokemon behind. Rotom would have been a really great answer to Vol excuse me, Volcarona. Hippowdon be a great answer to Salamence, and also Metagross, but I just felt like this combination of six is gonna do, is gonna do the best for me. So with all that said, I do want to thank you guys for watching. Battle should be up tomorrow uh, in the morning, and uh, we're gonna do our best, so wish us luck. We'll see you all then, and in the meantime, I will catch you all later.